to Steel Incorporated's Chainsaw Safety, Maintenance, and Operation. This program has been developed to give chainsaw operators the basic information needed to properly and safely use a chainsaw. Although this program will cover a wide variety of subjects, Steel always recommends that before you operate your chainsaw, read and fully understand your owner's manual. This manual will cover the important items that will be specific to your chainsaw's design, features, and operation. An important key to using your chainsaw safely and properly is understanding its design and features. Although not all chainsaws will be the same, many are common to most new saws manufactured today. Refer to your manufacturer's owner's manual for more detailed information on the features available on your chainsaw. Shown here is the chainsaw's anti-vibration system, commonly referred to as the AB system. Made up of a series of vibration isolating buffers, the AB system is designed to reduce the transmission of vibrations created by the engine and the cutting attachment to your hands, increasing control, comfort, and decreasing fatigue. The AB system should be part of your periodic inspection and maintenance process, which will be covered later in this program. If the AV system is ever in question or has failed, repair it immediately or take your chainsaw to your authorized dealer for the necessary repairs prior to using your chainsaw again. These are the chainsaw's front and rear hand guards. The rear guard is designed to protect your right hand as well as a key feature used in one method of properly starting your chainsaw. The front hand guard is designed to protect against projecting branches and reduces the risk of the left hand coming into contact with the chain if your hand were to slip off the handlebar. The front hand guard on steel chainsaws also functions as part of the chain brake device that stops the rotation of the chain if activated. And an additional chain brake activation device that can be found on many saws today is an inertia chain brake available on steel chainsaws also capable of stopping the rotation of the chain in certain situations if the kickback force is high enough, even if your hand doesn't contact the front hand guard. A third braking device available on select steel chainsaws called the QS chain braking system is located at the rear handle. When the operator completely releases the rear handle and the interlock lever with their right hand, the braking device is activated and stops the rotation of the chain. Kickbacks will be covered in more detail in the chainsaw operation portion of this program. Another very important safety feature is the throttle trigger interlock. This feature helps in preventing the chainsaw from accidentally accelerating when moving around in the work area. When you have a firm grip on the rear handle, the throttle trigger interlock is depressed. You can now activate the throttle trigger and accelerate the saw. When you release the rear handle, the throttle trigger interlock isn't depressed and the saw's throttle trigger will not activate, accelerating the saw unexpectedly, a situation that otherwise could cause serious injury. Your saw will have controls for the starting and stopping functions of the engine. Steel uses their trademarked master control lever shown here. One lever performs all of the functions necessary from full choke, fast idle for warm start, followed by the run position, and stop, which turns the engine off. Check your chainsaw's owner's manual if you have a system different from this